Well, today, this morning, it's a brisk 110 degrees in the shade. This morning, we got out here sawing up some pine custom order, and the lumber was coming out. It's acceptable, but it just saw wasn't running right. I was afraid the saw needed to be hammered again. But uh, my sawyer here, my dad, he tore into it, and he's found a solution to the problem. So over here to the end. So it's one of the problems, hopefully. Hopefully it'll fix everything, but uh, so just got to, um, trying to figure out what's going on with this saw. I never could set it with a guide to get it to run right. It kept kicking up a lot of dust off the backside. Sawing lumber a little thick, a little thin. Just hard hard to hit my marks. Uh, I got thinking about it and uh, knew I should have checked it before we even set it up, but I hadn't checked the lead in my saw. The guy we bought it off of said it was running good, and it probably was for him, but in the moving, the lead's off. Um, lead should be about a sixteenth inch toward the saw, and uh, this one's setting at about three quarters of an inch. So uh, a little too much lead, so the saw's wanting to pull into the log. Um, as the saw is pulling into the log, and start kicking up dust and such. And I'd slow my feed down, saw would kind of correct itself a little bit, and, and I could get by. But um, I get this lead set right, um, called the old boy at Edmondson, really good guy. Um, really um, answers questions, talk to you. He said the lead ought to be about um, 3 sixteenths of an inch uh, for this 56 inch saw. So we're going to try to get that set. He was pretty sure that we had to set it on the the bearing close to the saw. Well, this this mandrel set up. It doesn't have any adjustments on that. I took everything apart where I could actually see it because it's got this belt here. There's no adjustments on this bearing. So we're going to have to adjust it at the pulley bearing, which will be all right. Uh, we can get that done. So we'll uh, we'll show you how to, to actually check that uh, when we get the saw back on. Tell them what lead is. So lead is how much your saw is setting into your log. So your log sets on the carriage and then it's, it's kind of an exaggeration, but if my hand is a saw, the lead would be how much the front of that saw is, is tipped toward, toward the log. The reason you do that is when, if, it, if you did it just straight parallel flat, the log would rub on the center of the saw and also the slab would rub on the center saw. If you put just a little bit of lead in it, then it won't. the log won't rub on the center of the saw and your slab won't either. And then when you come back, especially you'll notice it, when you come back, you're not kicking up dust with the saw hitting the log. And that's, that's lead. These teeth are wore on the side. See that? What's that from? Could be from this. Right. Anyway, you want to put this thing back on? Yep. Okay. So we'll just have to get it on there. And since I've messed with that belt, our pins, it ain't just going to set back up the way we'll it is. We'll move move the pulley. We'll rotate it. No, no, we'll just no. rotate the saw. Oh, um, yeah, that, that makes a lot more sense. still rolling? Yeah. So I've cleaned. So I cleaned the collar, polished it up real good. Same thing on here. You got to make sure your pins are good. Um, they're not, they're, they're perfect. There's nothing nothing wrong with them. But cleaned this collar up good. Uh, did a little research. Uh, Pacific Hole, they make circle saws. On their website, they had a troubleshooting um and some troubleshooting information that was put on there by a guy that works on saws. Anyhow, it's interesting to me that nearly any problem you have with a circle saw and saw and lumber, the first thing they say is could be a bad collar. So uh, anyway, our collar at least appears to be good from all I can tell right now. That's not something you want because you got to take it to a machine shop and get it uh, get it took care of. So this isn't flat, I don't know if you can see it. It just, it only touches right here on, on the 
mandrel side and then also on the cap side. It, it doesn't hold it flat. So anyway, that this surface and the surface there is really important. Ready? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna be. be. No, I'm gonna do this. I kill it myself. Oh, yeah, really. so watch him take. Ready? Yeah. I'm gonna. sure all this stuff is good and clean and it's hard to mess with anything in a sawmill and not fill it full of sawdust but you need to try not to. Where'd that cap get hooked up there? What was you did what'd you use to boost that off with? The Kennedy's um, monkey knife. Okay. So Spraying WD-40 on that or anything? No. I just want to check something right quick. The old boy said that there shouldn't be any cup here. And if there was, you might need your saw hammer. I'm not sure this is a Harbor Freight straight edge, so. It's not bad. A little bit, but not much. It could just be. Now, I always like to roll that back against those pins. It doesn't give it any leeway, so when it hits a log now, it's actually against the pin. If I pull it the other way, even if it was all tight in this, it would let it slip just a little bit. When it hit that log, it could slip and theoretically shear a pin. So always kind of push back on your saw, get it set against them pins. And uh, to your bar. I like to use torque or edge. And just good and tight. I'm sure somewhere somebody's having a stroke after I did that. All right. So it's back on there. So now I'll show you how to check that. If I can do this. This used to be easier when I had a smaller sawmill. Slow down, bud. Slow down. Right about there. So you want to mark yourself a two. Bring it down here to the head block. Get up here. Can you see that good? That tooth and the head block. You're going to measure from your head block to that tooth. And this one is 17 and 3 quarter. 17 and 3 quarter right there. 
to, to the, make sure you measure to the same place I'm measuring to the outside of that corner of that tooth. It's actually a good sharp tooth. And then you're going to come back here. Line out the fall. Stop about right there. Work. You want to use the same tooth. That way if there happened to be something wrong with your saw, which I hope there's not anything wrong with this one. Lost my mark. Um, then you're not tricking yourself, which I'm pretty good at doing. And then I'm going to measure this to that tooth. Same thing. And so this tooth, at that tooth, same area, same place, is 18 um, and a quarter. Yeah. So 18 and a quarter. So that's, that's just too much. That's a half inch. And it's supposed to be what? Three sixteenths at the most. You also want to make sure that your guides aren't holding this all in the way. Let's push it back up. Push it back up. tip make your mark something other than the same color as the saw well it was a blue it was blue i woolled it around and probably the 120 degree weather melted it was a lumber crayon isn't there a can of orange spray paint in there i don't think it's spray paint How'd you do that? Well, that saw was crazy, crazy tight. Yeah, no, it's still gotta be adjusted. Yeah. Yeah. It helped it though. The saw was no, I like never got loose. All right. Anyway. All right. So what we're going to do the adjustment. So basically I've got a little diagram drawn here in the sawdust. It's a wonderful thing about sawdust. You never need a tablet. So, so if this is the mandrel, this is the saw, and this is the log the way it needs to run, that's the way our saw is sitting right now. So if we bring this back into this mandrel this way, then that's going to swing the saw this way the way we want it. So. It's not going to be much, I don't think, to get it to do it, but it's um, going to be just a lot of moving and, and measuring to make sure we're going the right way. We've uh, adjusted on this thing. Lots tightening the bolts down over there. Um, looks like we hit about 3 sixteenths. And uh, we're going to give that a try and, and see how it runs, see if that saw will run better. My saw was really tight when I when I took it off, and uh, honestly, I think it was too tight. I don't know if that's the thing, but it seemed like it was tight. Um, but anyway, I th I think that actually helped just to kind of get that what it 
should be. But uh, we're going to give her a try in the morning, more than likely, or late this evening. And see what we got. Well, let's go do it for the day. Like I said, it's ridiculously hot. Just wanted to uh, show y'all how we adjusted that saw this morning. Sawed up a big old pile of two by sixes and some one by sixes. Uh, I didn't bring y'all with me this morning because I didn't charge my GoPro. Sorry. I'll probably bring y'all with us tomorrow morning when we finish this job up. Get them took care of. Anyway, if you like what you're seeing, guys, I know I kind of went off subject here with our saw milling. But it's the middle of summertime. There's not much to do around the farm as far as hunting and fishing goes. It's too hot to fish. And so this is what we're doing. That's how we're making a living. Just thought y'all might want to enjoy. If you like the videos, subscribe, like, leave a comment. Until then, I'll see you next time.